Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we're going to be talking about winter dryness and how to prepare your skincare routine to handle it. So as you can see right now, I am having some hormonal breakouts, which I have been an acne warrior since I was 13 for the past seven years. And around the winter time when, you know, the seasons start to transition, I tend to get more hormonal flare-ups. And with that, I also get more sensitive and dry skin. So overall, my skin is just a lot more sensitive to anything really and this is when I have to start to kind of change my skincare routine to really make sure that my skin is not getting too dry as that's one of the main things that changes with my skin. And for most people transitioning from summer to winter, their skin does get drier. So let's talk about it. So overall for this winter, you're gonna have to get your warm sweaters out and your skincare routine prepped to conquer the dryness and dullness of winter on our skin. Overall, the main target is using skincare to preserve moisture and hydration within the skin. And I'll be talking to you about different ways you can use your skincare routine to do so. But first off, I wanna talk about some things that you shouldn't change from your regular routine from summer to winter and things that you should keep constant. First off, sunscreen. Even though you won't be spending as much time outside, you still need to protect yourself. And you know, hours of daylight does get shorter and UVB rays do lower, but UVA rays do stay the same. And UVA rays are the ones that will cause premature aging in your skin, damage, hyperpigmentation. So overall, you wanna make sure that you are still protecting your skin from the sun, especially if you're a very active person in the winter, you like to go skiing or skating, still make sure that you're wearing that sunscreen every day. Next up, I wanna talk about moisturizer. So you may need to transition your moisturizer into something a bit more heavy that will give more moisture to your skin. So you might need to transition from your gels to lotions, or if you have even drier skin from lotions to creams and if a cream is not enough for you either I would recommend using an ointment especially at night you can put it on and go to sleep this will really lock in and boost the moisture in your skin and really the main reason we need to make sure that we're using a good enough moisturizer to tackle our dry skin in the winter is to prevent trans epidermal water loss so especially during the night you want to make sure that you are applying a thicker moisturizer that is good for your skin's dryness and if you are like a makeup wearer you can use something a little bit more light throughout the day so what are some ingredients you should look for in your moisturizer? So I will talk about humectants in just a second. Humectants are hydrators, so they will bring water into the skin, but we also need to make sure that we're bringing moisture into the skin and locking it in. So things to look for as far as moisture goes are ceramides, squalene, jojoba oil, or petrolatum. So even like Vaseline, if you are super dry in the winter, you can just get a tub of Vaseline and just slather yourself in it. Now let's talk about some humectants. So this one you do want to be a little bit careful with because if you do live in a super dry environment in the winter, humectants may not be the best choice. So if you live in a more humid environment, it's going to draw that hydration from the environment into your skin. But if you live in a drier environment, the environment will draw hydration from your skin out. So that's something you do want to be careful with if you find that you're using your humectants and your skin is even more dehydrated then you would probably want to stop for the winter period but if you find that it does help your skin with dehydration then you want to look for ingredients such as hyaluronic acid glycerin and a lot of times these ingredients are already implemented into your moisturizers moving on throughout the skincare routine something you do want to avoid is any active irritating ingredients or over drying cleansers so a really easy way to tell if you are over drying or over cleansing your skin is after you wash your face with your cleanser if your skin feels super tight and has almost a shiny look to it or feels very very squeaky clean you're probably over cleansing your skin so make sure to adjust accordingly for my dry skin in the winter I like to switch from a gel cleanser to more of a cream cleanser that will hold more of that hydration and moisture in my skin and with that you also want to be avoiding those stronger actives like AHAs, BHAs, retinoids, benzoyl peroxide just because they can be very irritating and more drying to the skin especially in the winter time but if you find that your skin can still handle these you know keep on using them but just be cautious and if you find that your skin is getting dry try to cut them out or if you feel like you really rely on these ingredients for your skincare routine just try to use them maybe more infrequently or make sure you have a good moisturizer to balance that dryness out Next up, I want to talk about exfoliating. So if you find you get very dry, almost flaking skin on your arms, hands, legs, face, feet, 
etc. You can use a product that will bring in moisture into your skin, but will also exfoliate that dry skin off. This can be a great method to use, and this way you're avoiding that dryness that most exfoliants can cause, but exfoliating can still be a crucial part of your routine to make sure that you don't let that dry skin build up too much. So I would just recommend maybe exfoliating more infrequently, so maybe once a week just to kind of maintain that dry flaking skin. One of my favorites is finding a lotion like this one right here, which is a very moisturizing lotion to the skin, but it is made with salicylic acid, so it's actually made for very dry skin, and that salicylic acid will help to exfoliate the skin, and it will do so in a moisturizer form. I get really, really dry legs in the winter, so this is something I'll use on my legs. I'll even use this on my skin just because it does have salicylic acid in there, so it even helps with my acne, but it does a bit of that exfoliating while keeping my skin super moisturized. So now I want to talk about a few other things that can actually really help that are more like habits rather than skincare products. So first off, hot showers. As much as you know, when we get into those colder months, we are generally more cold and we like to take those hot steamy showers, but this can really, really dry out your skin. So try to stick to more lukewarm showers because you'll definitely see a difference. And this is because really hot showers strip the natural oil on our body a lot more effectively. Think about when you're washing dishes. If you've ever tried to wash dishes with like colder water, the grease off the plates and glasses doesn't really come off as easily. You need hot water to do so. So this is the same thing with your body, which can be very stripping because our skin does need those natural oils to stay moisturized and hydrated. So try to transition to more of those lukewarm showers. Next, moisturize, 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 and especially once you get out of the shower, if you do have that super dry skin, even when your skin is slightly damp, you can take a bunch of moisturizer and just lather up and make sure you're good. Because this will really lock in that moisture if your skin is damp and just give you a boost more of hydration and moisturization. And one trick I do to make sure that I do not forget to moisturize every single night is I keep a big jar of a ceramide cream right beside my bed. Right after I shower, I'm about to go to sleep. It's like a reminder to moisturize my legs, my arms, wherever I get super dry skin. And that is really all my tips and tricks in today's video, guys, for how to remove winter skin dullness and dryness. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. But if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Acne channel for more skincare content and acne tips. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day or night and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys.